Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a while since I made any videos, I hope by this point you've seen my two update videos as well as the uh, tr little teaser trailer I made just to kind of showcase some of the things I'm going to be doing on the channel soon. Uh, but today I wanted to kickstart making videos again by showcasing, well starting to showcase some of the builds in my Congress Reforged uh, test build world here in single player. Now I'm not going to show all of these uh, in this video, I want to basically take like a couple builds or depending on the size one build per video and basically go through the building process of this and kind of what I was thinking when I was building them. So as you can see I've got a fair few things here, some behind the scenes, <laughs> um, but today I wanted to start off by showing the kind of row of townhouses here. Um, now this is one of the larger things I've built so far in Conquest Reforged, you know, it, I think it literally is the largest thing. I just wanted to kind of showcase this and kind of talk about uh, my thought processes and stuff. One thing I struggle with with Minecraft building is scale. Um, I'm so used to building in default and, and with that I tend to build at quite a small scale. So with this I kind of wanted to go out of my comfort zone a bit so a lot of these houses are uh, just a lot bigger than I normally would build them. Uh, I generally build houses kind of like uh, if you look at say that single townhouse there with the white plaster I tend to only build houses about uh, two thirds the height of that house and not any about that width so a house like this for example where you've got kind of dual arches and stuff is just very out of my comfort zone um, especially using the mod this mod um, it's all new blocks all new stuff so yeah I just wanted to push myself uh, with the new palette and also with building in general so the first house you've got here is kind of like a I would probably say it's one of the the poorer houses on the street so I think for the 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 kind of what all Tudor frame here I use the mud one to kind of illustrate you know it's kind of a poorer house you know it hasn't got plaster well it has but it, you know it hasn't got a lot of plaster so it's you know kind of poor I guess <laughs> uh, this white one here would obviously be because it's due to its size and also because of the materials and stuff used would probably be a richer house I mean I've tried to include storage in the bottom here um, to kind of illustrate maybe it's like a merchant's thing or something to do with uh, some sort of sale of, of something so I've kind of got little details like I've got the pots here I've got like barrels got a, a rat there as well because you know why not yeah so i just got kind of loads of details here to kind of uh you know show off the fact that it is some sort of storage building or something like that um i'm really happy with kind of the details same thing with this house here that you can achieve with conquest reforged so for example by using the beams you can kind of get these cool supports um and by using like things like the railing blocks you can get these cool kind of uh, cross frames on the edges of the uh, plaster which kind of look like cool supports as well i've also used the shelf blocks here which are generally used for like um, you know other things but they look really good for kind of window sills so I've used those here as well as some blocks behind to kind of insignia uh, insignia I don't know if that's a word I don't know <laughs> kind of be a window and I got these window shutters as well um, but yeah I'm just really happy with how this one turned out it was really awkward kind of doing this roof I won't lie because um, I've never actually done a kind of uh, almost a McDonald's arch roof <laughs> um, so that came out well I'm really happy with this um, but yeah, as you can see, there's kind of all sorts of little details to kind of uh, get the look I was going for. And um, as you can see here, we've got some flags going across to kind of like this, uh, this, they're almost like a totem pole. Um, but I don't know what these are actually for. You see them a lot in like Minecraft builds and stuff, but I think it might be some sort of like, um, I don't know, like a birdhouse. <laughs> I really don't know if anyone could tell me down below like what this is then that'd be greatly appreciated because I've absolutely no idea but it does look kind of cool and I think I've captured the essence of what it is whatever it is quite well um, you know taking inspiration from other people in the community but also just from pictures and stuff I think I've kind of nailed it there okay so moving on we've got the uh, the yellow house on the street this one's pretty cool see I've got a little bird up on the roof there this one I wanted to use kind of a obviously the base is yellow but I wanted to use a kind of darker palette for the rest of it so as you can see the roof and the kind of upper part of the house and all the beams and stuff are quite dark which is something I really wanted to get because the first house was quite dark this house was fairly light but this one I wanted it to be dark because this one's brick so I wanted it to kind of be different from this one and this one but also kind of stand out at the same time and since these are both quite light houses I thought this would be a perfect kind of color scheme to go for so as you can see I've kind of left out details such as the uh, window sills here and window shutters particularly up here my, primarily because this is a house which is probably in the mid range in my opinion like it's kind of in between this one and this one you know they've got the plaster but it looks kind of old you know it's old wood it's dark it's you know it's aged you know they might not have 
certain things like this one where it's all kind of looks a bit fresh. Um, another thing I tried to do is I tried to aim for more realism with plaster. <clears throat> so I figured it would probably be make more sense for there to be more exposed stone on the bottom layer of the house as opposed to the second layer. Um, so I wanted to kind of get that difference here. That's something I've tried to do here as well. Like for example, at the bottom here, I've got these bricks which contrast well with the uh, white plaster and I like that because it kind of brings in a bit of gradient and also kind of brings in a, a nice transition from kind of day kind of like foundations to kind of plaster to you know the kind of upper plaster there. Uh, next up we have this house which I showcased in another build it's that one over right over at the corner. Um, that's another thing actually I have reused some of the houses but that's because I just love how they look <laughs> so you know I'm not gonna beat myself up over that and um, this house is more of like a like a for grain storage I guess or something it's definitely out there in terms of the in terms of the look you know or you've got this plaster and kind of Tudor block look for the rest of them but this one's kind of sat here in strong stone so maybe it could store it's definitely some sort of storehouse um, you know you've got the crane here it's a super basic crane <laughs> Probably, I don't know if it works, I don't know. Like, you know, it looks good as a crane. I think it's all right for my first attempt. Goods and stuff in this part of the building here. Alternatively, you could put stuff inside there or it might be kind of living quarters, I don't know. This house is definitely a richer one. Uh, you know, it's got straight up plaster. It's all looking kind of clean. You've got kind of nice stone bricks around the windows here and the top has some kind of accenting as well. Big windows, tall roof, so it's definitely a richer house. And I tried to get that look with the resources. You know, you've got this kind of nice trim etc. Now this one is a smaller house so it's kind of in the similar range to maybe the yellow one or the white one. Um, it's just kind of cool, it's more of a dwelling really so it's quite small but it has got quite a big door so maybe they kind of store a lot of things on the bottom floor and then live on the second and third. But yeah I think that pretty much showcases the build. Um, <laughs> sorry if the commentary has been a bit rubbish, I haven't actually been able to speak or do voiceover for a video in literally like uh, trying to think now it's May nearly June now so um, probably like a month or two <laughs> so that's kind of why all my videos have been text-based is because I literally haven't been able to do voiceover so um, yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, if you really enjoy this kind of thing where I just kind of talk about what I've done then that'd be greatly appreciated if you have any questions or any information you want to drop down below then feel free um, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're really close to hitting a thousand subscribers it's nuts I never thought we get to this point but we're very close uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter you can I just tend to post stuff on there same thing for my Instagram I tend to post things like build pictures and stuff on there um, and yeah uh, I've also got my discord server so if you want to talk to me or ask me any questions you can just get, join that message me in general and I normally reply actually I'm pretty good with that <laughs> so anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, make sure to like comment subscribe all that stuff and I'll see you in the next one goodbye Yeah, the idea is you could put, um, <clears throat> pardon me. What a strange person.